Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Welcome back to Heroes Another Dimension. We're going to the last dimension number four here. Let's see what awaits us in this dimension. So we start off here like usual, moving platforms. These ones move diagonally. That's completely different. But same principle. You can just float up here if you want to, miss, avoid this entire thing. But why? I mean, it doesn't really save much time. Floating, just mashing the A button doesn't really solve too much either. Besides, it's like, it's nice, kind of satisfying doing a large jump, like right when you land kind of thing. It's kind of cool. By the way, our first challenge is Cutter. Very easy to mess this one up, too, because, uh, well, you'll see. First thing you want is Chili. I, I don't even know how they hit you, but cool, that works. Give me ice. Give me ice. There we go. Perfect. Now for this, pretty much just charge it up. Launch it up. Aim it, and voila. Very simple. But, of course, that's the easiest one. It doesn't quite get as simple as that. Let's make sure you kill this guy first for anything else. Get in your way. And... Crap. Alright, so here we are, try this again. You want to make sure that you don't have a continuing move. You want to aim this, but don't keep on holding up. You want to let go of up eventually, because if you keep on holding up when you shoot this out, it's going to miss that box, and the box is going to fall, and it'll miss your heart. So you got to aim it up, and then stop it, before you can hit the box that way. Be very careful, you could easily miss that one very, or just... And also, if you're going to use that charged, uh... If you're going to use the charge cutter to hit the one thing like I showed you before, just wait for it to go away before you're trying to go off screen. This, charge them up in front of you, and simply hop over it. And do that. Once you learn a trick, it's not too bad. However, it starts getting a lot more precise on these things. Wait for it to go away. Again, so don't make the same mistake twice. Now for this, if you notice, there's a very small window. And stop. Got it. Haha. -ha. And this is just simple. You just break through it. Doesn't matter. There's nothing that's going to be dropping or anything. And that's it. You should have 5 out of 30. So we're good. We're going to make good progress. And then we're going to our first dream friend in Dimension 4 for the first DLC Wave 3, Magalore. Everyone's favorite little egg boy guy. If we just ignore that one time, he completely betrayed us and killed everyone, but, you know. I don't think he actually killed anyone, because we stopped him before he could do anything real crazy. I mean, I guess he kind of permanently split Landia in four. You know, because he sold the crown and everything, so... There's that. But, regardless, there's not really too much to worry about. Nothing here quite yet we need any hearts for, just keep flowing around, and this, of course, is a timing section. Once you destroy this, it starts timing, so you have a limited amount of time to kill everything. I recommend just using your giant sword like this, and just slice everything. Man, you're, uh, you have a lot of HP. But if you notice... Ah. There's kind of like a little countdown thing. Come on. Quickly, open the door. Got it, haha. -ha. If you wait any longer, that thing will just explode and, well, you'll lose your heart. But thankfully, we got to it in time, and that's all that matters. I guess you don't necessarily need Magalore for that kind of thing. In fact, none of the ones you use Magalore for to get a to get a heart 
really need Magalore at all, which is odd. I don't know, as far as I can remember, none of them really need Magalore. You pretty much just hit a switch, knock these down, and get the hearts that way. Like, for example, even if I was right here, I can just hit that switch, it'll drop down, open up, and there's a heart. You don't need these. Technically, I think what you're supposed to do is, you know, get them to lower and then kind of launch them over, but even still, it doesn't really require Magalore for anything. But, whatever. Here's that open, here's a little place there you need to break open. And I think we can just hit that switch there. You can just make it easier by... Come on. Stupid thing. Alright. So we're gonna do, hold the lore. You can break this, and you get the switch as well. Two-in-one deal. But once again, you don't necessarily need Magalore for that. You could just go ahead and head over to the right, and that's that. But let's go in here. Uh, actually, this one you do need Magalore for. It's like the only thing that requires Magalore. Just, uh... Whoops. I keep on mistiming that. Okay, how about I just try to... There we are. And... no. Alright, try this again. Why, I, why am I messing up so bad on this? There we are. And now I should push it. Push it on that. And then once again, detonate them. Voila! So yeah, forgot about that one, but that's the only one that really requires Magalore's abilities to get. So yeah. Hit that switch again, and well... This one, I guess, you do also require Magalore to use the lower star cutter on, because there was a place you had to break there. Okay, so I'm just stupid. That's fine. And I don't really remember much, because I, well, apparently forget a lot of things. And, uh, just, just ignore me. Just ignore me completely. Let's go to Terran so forget this ever happened. Terranza has a lot of ability using powers. It's not just, uh, using the lower star cutter in the calendar of the day. This one is legitimately very interesting. You are using your hop thing a lot, your friend bounce, and you're using it for yourself. Grabbing the key, jumping up here, and doing that. Also for this section here, to grab that bomb and grab that key, you have to summon the phantom Sectonia, grab that key, and quickly run up here. Voila. And then for the last key we need, drop a friend bounce right here, grab the key, and jump. Ah. What? Well, I opened the door, I was trying to flow, but I kind of thought I... Eh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Alright, let's try this again. Uh, let's put it. Let's put that there this time. What the? And just float. All right. There's way a time where you can just land on it perfectly, but I clearly didn't do that. But it's not really a big deal at all. Whatever. Now here, you want to make all these switches hit the ground there and kind of line up with each other. Just make sure you don't have it also fall on you at the process. So be careful. Also, gonna get all these shots those down here so they don't really ignore you. This one, you're gonna grab the heart before he launches down. As long as you just kinda like float and just zap each one, you should be fine. Like, nope. Come on. There we go. For this, we wanna be careful on. Yeah, I'll just, uh, try it again. You do not want to hit the middle one, because if you do that, it's going to knock them all down and, uh, knock over that one plug that you do have. There we are. So now, just summon Queen Zectonia to electrocute it. And just follow it, and that's pretty much it. Takes a while to get there. Kind of wish I could kind of zoom faster, but you can't. 
Just gotta be patient and wait. Just wait it out. And of course, it's in the shape of a flower, because, you know, flowered, you know, Queen Zirconia. It all makes sense. On the way, there we go. And thus, we open up the last section with Susie. Well, the last of the Dream Friends sections, anyway. Gotta love Susie. Probably one of the best stream friends. Although not offensively. I think there are far better ones that are more OP than her, but that's another story. Here, just make sure you use your propellers so you don't have bombs drop on you. It's always a bad thing to have bombs drop you, but you do need ice. I already have ice, actually. Perfect. Yep, just need your ice blaster. Just freeze everything if you need to. Very simple. Now for this, pretty much you just want to launch a bunch of these down and have them drop. And in order to trigger this sequence, first you want to hit that switch there. And wait for it. you want to break this barrel over here when it comes. Ta-da! And then you'll break off the heart and you will get it that way. If you don't time it incorrectly and you don't break the barrel in time, it'll just fall down there. You'll never see that heart again unless you kill yourself. Which is quite another possible way of doing things. Quite a common one if you want to try to get a 100%. But whatever. Now for this, of course, we need our mech. No, hold on, mech. And then ground pound. And then quickly you have a timing game. We're trying to beat the guy here. And then for the final one, just bail out of the suit and just grab it with Susie. Of course, since your suit can only double jump, you cannot hover in the air long enough to get it. Now for this one, you could potentially do this with ice as I've shown very uh, incorrectly. But you want to use Bird on here, which just makes more sense, and just give yourself the wind ability. That way, when you summon your mech, you automatically hover, and you just break up this way. Very simple. Grab a heart there. Now here you'll see three chains. You just want to break the first two, and then head back. You do not want to break that last one. There's a very good reason for that. Hold on. There we are. Because if you break that last one, that heart's going to go into an abyss, and you'll never see it again. So just get regular Susie, and continue on. Very simple. I think I got all of them I need to for Susie. 19 out of 30, I think that's correct. I think there are two more I could get. Let's see, I, need, I don't think I need any of you guys. I guess I'll see very shortly if I need to or not. Oh yes, that's right, this part. No, I don't, no! Oh, ooh, that was that was almost bad. Now eventually you'll see switches come down. You wanna make sure you get every single switch that comes. Also, if you can, kill everything you need to with uh, wind or ice if you have it. I think with ice is preferable to this section, but because wind kind of goes up in the air and you don't really want it to. Three more switches coming your way. Make sure you hit all of them. And then eventually we do enough damage, three switches come up and I already hit them all. Okay, that's cool. And I think it's kind of more fun when you have the ice because it's more like a shmup, whereas this you're kind of just like hanging out underneath and just chilling and kind of avoiding pretty much all attacks possible. But that's fine. Doesn't really matter. And then if you hit all of them, you'll get three hearts. Perfect. We're at 22. That means remaining eight are going to be in the final section with Wing. Here we'll get ourselves a nice, I think that was a Sunday. I, I couldn't really honestly tell, but whatever. No biggie. See ya, Susie. Now we're gonna finish this up. The wing ability is kind of honestly useless. I don't think you really use it for anything. I, well, I'm not gonna say that again. I might have you know, been wrong about that multiple times. In fact, all you need are four helpers, all gonna be bird ons at this point. Because your last section is going to be... Wait for it... The Friend Star! I think you already knew the answer to that already. So make sure you break all the meteors, break all this aside, get the... Hey look, we get ourselves a nice little heart there. Let's grab that star, just get extra lives, why not? 
Up here you'll get a one up, and there's no more puzzle pieces, but, or puzzle pieces, no more, there were two puzzle pieces, there are no more hearts. I'm really, I'm really great at saying things, clearly. I don't, ah, whoa, okay. Almost fell. Here, there are a lot of these that have hearts on them, so make sure you try to get each and every one, and if, you should be able to get three hearts from the ones that are falling, there's one there and then two more afterwards. In this section, go up here, there's a heart there. You kind of move back and forth pretty quickly, so it's kind of hard to avoid getting hit by these. Thankfully, the blades don't really do too much damage, so it's not really all too much to worry about. That heart there, and heart there. Oh, I missed the last one. Oh well, kill myself. I knew I was going to miss at least one heart. But, uh, yeah, it was that one at the very end. You kind of need to rush yourself to get there really quickly. Alright, try this again. Just rush. Quickly got it. Haha, -ha, success. Two more remain. The first one is quite simple to get. You just need to be kind of keep an eye out on things. And also don't get crushed by these. Break that one, have it come forward. And the last one here, you want to follow back. Just keep following that to the left. It's going to go all the way down here, knock that down, and there's another heart. The last one, I was very, very close to getting in my blind playthrough of this, and just kind of missed it. I went down here, kind of stopped here, I was like, oh, there's nothing here, but it's will go back. Right there. Literally, like, two centimeters from where I was. And I would have found the secret. But oh well, there's a giant giant ball of bottled east, kill them all, and we have our last heart right there. I also have my team of Birdons here, and Wing! Wee. Get a puzzle piece, puzzle piece, dream rod, one up, there's another dream rod in there, another one up, get all the one-ups. Oh, thing I should point out with the Dream Rod here, I don't think I've actually used the Dream Rod before anything, but it's kind of show it off. You probably already know it already, but you'll notice that there's still one Dream Friend that's locked. In the meantime, I'll just take, uh... Hmm. How about Marks? Why not? I'm gonna get rid of you immediately, like, almost immediately as well. I can think I'd spare one uh, bird on my team to give you Marks. To kind of walk up and go into the final door before I get rid of you, ultimately. But I don't think it really matters. We already have all 30 heart pieces. We don't need them. Alright. Remove, remove, remove. Control A and gone. Sorry, Marks. Don't need any dream friends. Don't need any abilities. Do need food. Food's nice. May go inside this door for our final dimension challenge. Parallel DDD, Otherworldly Dark Liege. A dark liege was born from the Jampa Heart that King DDD brought to Highness. Cast out into another dimension along with the king's own spirit, this foul doppelganger is not the original DDD. Beware is aberrant rage. He's a lot quicker than normal DDD, so be careful there. As long as you kind of run over him and jump. I've never... i practiced this multiple times and I've never fallen into that trap. By the way, here he's going to hit and jump, so kind of swim him, jump, go back, jump... Ah, I'm messing up here. This is... I'm doing terrible. I'm doing so bad right now. It's pathetic, actually. <laughs> practice, and you practice, and you just mess it up when you go to finally execute it. I've never even gotten to this point before. Like, in terms of... This battle's usually over a lot quicker by now. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to survive your next phase if I failed that badly there. I like how his eyes are just completely black. This time, 
he has no poles or anything to kind of swing around. It's just you and DDD, one on one, nothing else. I like how he also has his uh, Gordo throw from Smash Brothers. That's pretty cool. Ah. Oh, all right. I, c I can't say I was really expecting anything less than that. All right, try this again. Okay, so far so good. And I'm still doing terrible. I am not happy with the way I'm playing right now. I don't want to do that. Not really doing too well, but whatever. You have to jump pretty high to avoid those. And then of course, this attack's kind of fun. Yeah, he, uh... Is definitely not the same DD we faced before. He is a lot harder. I've seen with his uh, arms though. You can, you can't really hit by the arms themselves, just the fists. Kind of like the hammer when he uses it. He can't really hit you with the arm of the hammer, just the hammer head itself. Ugh. I'm not going to be doing the Soul Melter EX anytime soon. Not by any stretch. Come on. You're just like lobbing them over me, which kind of doesn't really do much of anything. Since they kind of just go away and when I try to head back. Ah. I have to learn not to get greedy with these bosses, because getting greedy can mess you up horribly. But, whatever. Alright, come on, throw your spoiled food at me. Come on. Yeah, I... I really wish you would keep the same amount of HP each time for better training because every time you lose they seem to have less and less HP and uh, well, it doesn't give you much very good practice, but whatever. We got our four spear. I guess that's all that matters, doesn't it? Yay! Dimension four cleared.
Hey look, we have our full progress, 30 out of 30 for every dimension. You got 100 friend hearts! The friend hearts you collected are making a difference. Now let's see what awaits in the final dimension. That's right, there's still one more. And I'll save that until next time. See you guys then.